Before I even begin talking about this game, I think it's important to state that unless a racing game is made by Criterion, or lets you play as Best Boy Roy, there's a high chance it's not for me. If I have to worry about suspension stats, or what kind of brakes my car has, I'm probably not going to play it. So if you've come into this review wanting the opinions of someone actually knowledgeable about this very large and very popular genre, I'm not going to be able to give you that. So now's your time to leave a comment like, this review was horrible. Thanks George, appreciate the feedback. Before doing back to your search results, thanks for stopping by. Anyway, hi. Thanks for sticking around. Gravel is an off-road racing game that sits quite comfortably halfway between a realistic racing sim like Gran Turismo and an accessible arcade-style racer like Burnout. Developed by Milestone, who have been creating basically nothing but racing games since the mid-90s, it's good. It's really good, I've played a lot more of this than I thought I would, actually. The game is split up into a couple of different disciplines. Sometimes you're stidding around a muddy stadium in a truck, other times you're whipping around a laster in a... A rally car, maybe? Christ, I know nothing about cars. And you can even drive a uh, fast car around a rainy racetrack. Also Vedas. Look, there's that hotel. Basically, diversity is not a concern here. There are plenty of tracks, and each one offers a nice little twist on the unifying theme of off-road racing. You see, it turns out that driving a car on something that isn't a carefully constructed concrete course feels very different, and Gravel does a great job of what I can only assume is accurately replicating just how difficult it is trying to heave a heavy, slow trot around a track that is made of nothing but wet mud. Gravel is tough, but not unfair. Yeah, it can be a fight winning a race, but it's a rewarding experience that never feels frustrating. Now this, for me, is why I ended up really liking this game. As I previously mentioned, I sucked literal ass at driving simulators, but luckily Gravel had my bath throughout. Before starting a race, you can jump into race options in order to change a bunch of settings that can make the game far more accessible to someone who has no experience in this genre. The only consequence of which is a slight deduction in a bonus multiplier that is awarded when you do things like bid jumps or drifts. These points are basically experience, with each level awarding the player new TARS, but in the grand theme of things, these options do nothing but make the game easier for those who aren't very good, and I love this. It meant I could progress through the game's lengthy and very enjoyable campaign mode without much resistance, and all that affected was the arbitrary number next to my username. This also works the other way around, too. If you're having fun and want to test your stills, you can turn everything off, ramp that AI difficulty way up high, and your bonus multiplier will increase, and look, now you're a higher level. Good for you, champ. Proud of you. If you're still struggling when you're in the race itself, that's fine too. At any point, you can tap L1 and rewind for a few seconds in order to readjust and try it then. No consequences, no fuss. Gravel is happy for you to experience it in a way that works best for you. Its campaign, framed as a TV show, is the main meat of the game and the part I had the most fun with. Despite being forced to sit through these really weird FMV segments where rival drivers jump around on screen for a bit and look like twats. The campaign mode consists of a fair number of varied modes like elimination, where the racer in last place is removed from the race every 30 seconds, a mode where you have to go through the arrow segment of these randomly generating boards, standard lap based races and time trials. All standard stuff, all great fun. And to be honest, I think that sums up Gravel pretty accurately. It's not pushing any boundaries here, but it does what it does very well. It looks a bit ropey, especially on my PS4 Class ETH, but everything you'd expect to be here is here, and done very well. For me, personally, someone who hasn't played any of these games, which I'm sure other reviews will understandably and fairly draw comparisons with, I had a lot of fun just sitting back, shoving some boards of Tanada on Spotify, and spending a few hours working my way through Gravel's campaign. It's probably not worth its current retail price of £45, here in the UK, but hey, if you see it for cheaper, and you like this sort of thing, I'd recommend it. Gravel is good. Hey, thanks for watching, this is 7 out of 10, the channel that has no clear direction, but I enjoy making videos for it anyway, and for some reason 500 people have subscribed, so I must be doing something right, I guess. If you like this video, give it a like, or leave a comment like, this review was horrible, or even better, subscribe, so you can leave that comment on every single video I publish from now on.